I remember when I first started shooting beauty. Um, is when I, I finally got me a hundred millimeter macro lens for my camera. I was so excited. Um, I didn't have the money to get it. There was a lady in town that paid me to uh, build a website for her, and she um, she made cupcakes and cakes. She she owned a bakery basically, and um. The shots that I was showing her in my mood board that she wanted, that she saw, you know, bakeries around the world that were big and that had an established website already. And she wanted those type of shots, those really close in shots of the crust and the sprinkles and the, the custom designs on, on the cake. And I told her I can do it for her, but unfortunately I didn't have the lens for it. You know, I think at the time I had a 50 millimeter, a 70 to 200. A 24 to 70. Um, I think I had an 85 millimeter also, but I knew in order to get those shots, I was going to need a macro lens. So um, I asked her if she wanted to sponsor me, you know, I, you know, and get me the lens, and I'll knock out the shoots for her, and uh, you know, throw in a little extra, and she agreed. I thought it was a blessing, you know. When I got the lens, I could I didn't know how to act, you know. Of course, I did the shots for. Her and uh, got the shots she needed for her website and her promotional uh, items. But I couldn't wait to test it out on a model. You know, I was just too excited. Uh, there's a lot of photographers out there I was watching, studying, and trying to figure out how they got the shots they, they got when it came to shooting beauty. And I knew it was because it was a macro lens. Like I said, I was doing my homework. So I called the makeup artist I was working with in town with at the time. and. Uh, pitched an idea, told him what I wanted, you know, came up with a mood board, uh, found the model, um, which was becoming easier to find because uh, once I've got one model published in town in a magazine, you know, they had friends that were models also, and they were like, yo, when are you going to shoot me next? You know, and it became more easy to find, you know, models that were with agencies that were willing, to, uh, that were looking to build their portfolio. And um, that's pretty sweet. So I came up with a mood board, went through a bunch of shots that I liked, uh, that I, I've gotten out of tear sheets from beauty magazines and fashion magazines, and tried to emulate the exact same look, or um, try to get the type of lighting that I saw in those images uh, for my shots. I'm real big on lighting, I love lighting. And I came to an understanding quick when it came to photography and commercial photography, which is what was my goal, what I wanted to do, is that in order to get those type of shots, I was gonna need some some light modifiers, you know, and a couple of lamps. And, you know, I started off with like maybe two lamps from ALMBs, and then I went up to three. And uh, I invested a lot of money in my equipment. You know, I, I tell a lot of guys, you know, when it comes to your, your business and your career and your passion, you know, you have to put the money towards that. You just can't, you know, shortcut your career and expect the best quality out of your work when the money you're making is going towards trips and material things, flashy things to show off to people like clothes and hair and nails and, you know, with guys, you know, shoes and weed and club and, taking taking people out to eat all the time and you know, I made a lot of sacrifices just staying in the house and putting my money towards my gear because I know my gear is gonna make my money back you know in the long run I'll eventually have my chance to go on these trips and and to have fun but I would rather put my money towards my career first instead of spending it on uh, material things Man, this train is so loud. So, shooting beauty was my passion. You know, I, I wanted to dabble and dabble in the fashion also, but at the time, I, my knowledge about fashion wasn't there. Um, I knew it wasn't that hard for beauty because all I really needed was a makeup artist and maybe someone who's uh, good with accessories and styling, which I could have done myself also. And, uh, a hairstylist and maybe a nail artist you know building a team is really good when it comes to these type of things uh, fortunately uh, I've done a lot myself as far as um, even with a, when it comes to assistance you know I didn't have assistance on on a lot of my shoots 
you know, it, it was always me setting up my own equipment, you know, uh, moving the lights around, checking a monitor to, to, to make sure uh, the hair isn't in front of the model's face or my shots were evenly lit. And that's kind of how I've got good at what I've done is because I, it was always me on set, you know, learning, teaching myself everything without no help, no assistance. Um, you find a lot in these days is everyone wants to be the boss and everyone wants to be the person behind the camera and calling the shots is it's very fine how many people who actually want to assist the person in charge so they can learn and eventually get their chance somewhere down the line in the future so sometimes you just have to do things yourself whether it's a small team or a big team you know a lot of people thought my shots were created with you know expensive equipment you know high-end gear you know everyone every time I show someone my images they were like oh man what did you shoot with a 5 mark D mark this mark that and I was like no I'm shooting with a T2i and they look at me like I'm crazy like yeah right you know they didn't shoot that with a you know a crop camera and I'm like yeah I did you know and it amazed them how someone can take you know uh, an inexpensive camera and create the type of imagery you know you do but I, I was always taught, you know, learn how to master and use what you've got until you get in what you really wanted in life. So, I mean, if you're if you're working with low end equipment, learn how to take that equipment and make it work for you. You know, if you have a, a camera that's not that expensive, you know, uh, put money towards lights or a better makeup artist who can give you a more polished look so you don't have to spend so much time on retouching. Learn retouching. You know, if, if you don't want to learn retouching, be prepared to spend money for someone who's going to retouch the images for you. But at the end of the day, um, if you want that polished look for your images, know what needs to be worked on and know the, the sources you need to go to to, to get those images to look great, whether it's someone that's a experienced retoucher or uh, someone is very experienced with makeup to help your shots look better, knowing that your camera isn't up to par. So uh, get out there, start shooting, and uh, find somebody who's willing to work with you and who's willing to build their portfolio, and you guys make it happen. Simple as that.